Good day. I'm pleased that uh, you could join me uh, again as we are looking closely at the kingdom vision in the dark world. Today we're going to look at the renewal of the mind, and this is very critical. And you will see why as we continue. So we're going to then uh, start with reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. This is what Paul says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, this age, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, so that you may prove for yourselves what is good and acceptable uh, and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. We see here uh, that Paul is urging us, and he says, I urge you, and he wouldn't urge us for nothing. I seem to think there are several reasons why he feels that need to urge us. The two that comes to mind are, I believe it's because Paul has tasted the benefits of the kingdom vision, of the renewal of the mind. And he's then saying, I would like you to taste it as well. And he's urging us. And secondly, I think he also may have sensed that there could be reluctance amongst many Christians to take this seriously. And that is why he is urging us. Now, unfortunately, there are many Christians uh, today who have concluded that when you have accepted Christ, the mind is not important. Somehow, they are of the view that faith is in opposition to the mind, and which is not true, because otherwise the scripture wouldn't have said we should renew our mind. Now, if the mind was not important, Paul wouldn't have said we should renew it. Now the question is, how do we renew our minds? First of all, let's go back uh, a, a few steps to when the, at the time when we were not Christians. We were used to living according to the world, and our minds are what were accustomed to the pattern of the world, the thinking of the world. Now that we have invited Christ into our lives, our minds must then be removed and be transformed to the way of the kingdom of God. That's why the renewal of the mind is important. So I would like to urge you to take this uh, task of renewing your mind seriously. I just want to read again from uh, what Paul says in his second letter to the Corinthians again about the issue of the mind. And this is what he says, Second Corinthians, Inasmuch as we refute arguments and theories and reasoning and every proud and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God and we lead every thought and purpose captive into the obedience of Christ. So what it then means is that we renew our mind thought by thought, emotion by emotion. For instance, if there's a thought in your head or in your mind or that keeps ringing and, and it keeps telling you that you are a failure, I'm a failure, uh, I, I, I cannot be perfect, that thought is not obedient to Christ. And it is a thought that you must then hold captive and remove from your thinking. For example, why do I say that that thought is not obedient to Christ? This is what Christ says in Matthew 5, 48. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. 
Now, if you were a failure or incapable of being perfect, Christ wouldn't have said, be perfect. So this thought that you may be having about you not being able to be perfect, you see, it's not in obedience to Christ. We must therefore hold it captive and take it out of our minds. Hold captive all these negative thoughts and expel them out of your mind. This is what is being said. Unfortunately, many of us are not disciplined in terms of our thinking. Uh, the thoughts that we allow in our minds, uh, we are not disciplined. But what Paul is saying here, and this is a, a, a most effective way of renewing our minds, it is to observe these thoughts, observe these emotions, and they will then show you the emotions that are not obedient to Christ. Now, it is only with the renewal of the mind that you will access the kingdom vision. So, I therefore would urge you to take uh, this task very, very seriously of the renewing of the mind. And how do you do that? Read scripture, meditate, pray, and we will see tomorrow because we're going to talk about imitating Christ. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, which always encourages us and always show us what we need to do in order that we may have access to the kingdom vision. Help us therefore, Lord, that we take this task seriously of renewing our minds. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.